Alan Wake'in 10. bölümünden tekrardan merhaba arkadaşlar. Hikayemize kaldığımız yerden devam edeceğiz. Görevimiz yansıma tepesine ulaş olarak devam ediyor. Ve biz de oraya ulaşmayı deniyoruz. Pekala. Bir teleferiğin üzerindeyiz. Ee, karşıya geçeceğiz. Ondan sonrası tamamen sürpriz. <gülüyor> Nelerle karşılaşacağımızı ben de bilmiyorum. Yine türlü türlü iblisler peşimizi bırakmayacaktır. Hadi, sakin ol lütfen. Biraz hızlı bir giriş yaptık. Hangisi? Hangisi düşüyor? Oh. Hayır, hayır, hayır, hayır, hayır, hayır, hayır. İlginç. Fazlasıyla hızlı bir giriş oldu. Evet. Neyse. Biz ilerlemeye devam edelim. 3 tane mermim var. Ya böyle sinsice yaklaşıyorlar ya. Güzel. Pekala. Biraz hızlı bir giriş oldu. Gerçekten hızlı bir giriş oldu. Bu kadarını ben de beklemiyordum. Birdenbire ne yapacağımı şaşırdım arkadaşlar. Giderek zorlaşmaya başladılar ve gerçekten hareket alanı bırakmıyorlar. Güzel. E, kayıt noktaları da artmaya başladı. Belli ki bir şeyler sıkıntılı olacak arkadaşlar. Bu kadar çok kayıt noktası ve bu kadar çok e, envanter vermesi bence biraz 
işlerin ters gideceğinin göstergesi. Şu anda koşamıyorum. Köprüden yürüyerek geçmek zorundayız. Ne oldu? Arkadan önden geliyorlar. Aman ne güzel. Aman ne güzel. Oh, Falyoz vuruyor. <gülüyor> Güzel. Bence çok akıllıca bir strateji oldu. Bence çok akıllıca bir strateji yaptık. Hops. <gülüyor> Pislik seni. Hadi. Oh, bu sefer vurdu. Güzel. Evet köprünün ortasında sıkışmıştık. Bence çok akıllıca bir strateji yapıp geri çekildik ve büyük olanı temizledik. Bu bizim önümüzü biraz açtı diyebilirim. Yoksa orada ölürdük arkadaşlar. Burada bir işaret var. Buralarda bir yerlerde gizli saklı bir şeyler olabilir. Kayıt noktasına ulaştık. İşaretler bizi nereye götürecek? Hmm, i̇şte burada. Güzel. Sadece 5 tane mermimiz kaldı. Pekala. Bir şekilde buradan çıkmayı başaracağız diye düşünüyorum. Evet, bu notları kayıt sırasında okumuyorum arkadaşlar. Kayıt süresini uzatmamak adına onları okumuyorum. Ee, hikayeye ait küçük bilgiler içeriyor. Ama e, hani sizin de onları okumak isteyeceğinizi pek sanmıyorum. Yani videoyu durdurup okumak isteyeceğinizi pek düşünmediğim için kayıt esnasında okumuyorum. Buralarda kesinlikle bir şeyler olacak. Öncelikle şuna bir bakalım. Hmm, açılmıyor. <gülüyor> tamam. Tom'u özlemiş. Ve... Ne diyor? Evet, bu yazıyı sen mi yazdın diyor. Bunun olayı bu mudur? Cephane falan. Şu açılıyor mu? Hayır. Aa, çıkamıyoruz.
hiçbir şey atlamamaya çalışıyorum arkadaşlar. O yüzden çevreme dikkatlice bakıyorum. Eyvah eyvah eyvah. Hadi vur şunu ya vur şunu mermi değiştirmenin sırası değil. Evet. Bence bence çok iyi atlattık. Hatta e, olabildiğince en iyi şekilde atlattık diyebilirim. Tamam. Biraz cephane toplayalım. E, silahlarımızı reload yapalım. Bunun mermisi kalmamış. Ne güzel. Tamam. 3 numarada. Pekala. Ee, nereden ilerlememiz gerekecek? Büyük ihtimalle buradan atlayıp Cephane var mı? Orada bir şey gördüm. Pekala. O zaman oyunun bizi yönlendirdiği yere gidelim. I could see Cauldron Lake. I thought I could make out the spot where the island and the cabin had been. There was a light near it. It had to be a boat. I was close now. I had to get there fast. I dreaded what I would find. Wait! Hey, you! Wait! Hey, I'm here! I'm coming!
baby. It was just a nightmare. Alice. There you go, Hartman. Hartman, I fell. I had to give you a sedative. Don't fight it. I... You went through another rough period. What? Right now, it's very important that you stay calm. We don't want you to have another episode. You're a patient at my clinic. Have been for a while now. The shock of your wife's death triggered a mental illness. No, you're... you lie. You're suffering from various symptoms of undifferentiated schizophrenia. Bastard. It's okay, okay Alan. Just, Just let, let go. go. go. I felt groggy. Whatever Hartman had bumped in me was making me numb. I felt like this was happening to someone else. Someone I was watching on television. I couldn't think. Couldn't focus. The door was locked. I was a prisoner here. Oyunun senaryosunda dördüncü bölüme geldik arkadaşlar. Bundan sonrasını nasıl ilerleyeceğiz bilmiyorum. Biraz tempo düşse iyi olur. Good evening, Alan. Are we feeling better now? Feeling calm? Yeah, I see you brought your pet gorilla with you. So sure, I'm calm. I get the message, loud and clear. Quite right. That's the spirit? You're being very brave, Alan. I understand you're confused. I would be more concerned if you weren't suspicious of me. I don't blame you for it. Big of you. Now, why don't you come with me? We'll reacquaint you with my clinic and go over everything you might have forgotten. Little walk and some fresh air? Yes, it will do you good. This corridor is for patients. Most of them aren't here right now. Jack took them out for a fishing trip. Except for the ones who are particularly vulnerable, of course. I encourage creativity as a part of the recovery process here at Cauldron Lake Lodge. I specialize in treating artists. I bet you do. Splendid, Alan. I honestly believe we can get this thing under control if we work together. This way, Alan. Now, Alan, from past experience with you, I know I need to get right into the heart of the matter as quickly as I can after an episode. So I'm just going to say this. Alice is dead. Ne? No. You're in a very vulnerable state until you understand and accept this. Alice drowned. And you couldn't face that. You're suffering from hallucinations, paranoid delusions, unusual thinking, an obsession about light and darkness, a feeling that everything revolves around you, your thoughts and dreams. Your mind has constructed an elaborate fantasy scenario in which your writings are affecting reality. She has been kidnapped and supernatural forces of darkness are trying to stop you. Her şey bilinçaltımızdan mı kaynaklanıyor? You go this way, Alan. I wasn't ready for another shot, so I went along with it. He had to be lying. But under the influence of the drug he had given me, I had to fight not to believe his words. It's all in your head. You've been making it up. Apart from the tragic accident with your wife, no one has been killed. Your delusions are just a manifestation of your subconscious mind trying to protect you from the too painful truth. Unless we fight the fantasy, it will return. I know the instinct is to resist me, but think about it. Doesn't this make far more sense than the insane supernatural conspiracy you have concocted in your mind? You're a skeptic by nature, Alan. We both know this. Everything can be explained logically. Ah, bir güne saati. <laughs> Manzara güzel arkadaşlar. 
get tired of this view. Very inspiring, isn't it? Cauldron Lake spread below us. I could see Mira Peak on the other side of the lake. I thought I could make out the spot where Diver's Isle had been when I arrived with Alice. Now there was nothing but waves. It seems there's a storm coming. Funny, I don't recall there being a mention of that in the weather forecast. Well, no matter. This way, follow me. Alan, what I'm telling you is good news. Right now we're in control. Every time you have a relapse, it gets more and more difficult to resurface from the dark depths of your imagination. Not surprising, considering your profession. Imagination is what you work with. After all your nightmares, this should come as an immense relief to you. If it doesn't, why is that? Because I'm lying? Or because you don't want to admit that you're not well? It's very natural for you to think of me as your enemy. It's part of the illness. I let him talk. Hartman obviously loved his own voice. His words echoed madly inside my head. But I, can't I dug my nails into the palms of my hands to stay you focused. You need to work with me. Once you accept that, we can begin the journey towards your recovery. Gerçekten de çok konuşuyor. <gülüyor> Let's go inside. Uh, here's the entrance to the office wing. That's for staff only. You were impressed by my trophies when you first arrived here. I do love to hunt. The great outdoors, man versus nature. It's wonderful stuff. Pretty damn wonderful, yeah. Scary, scary, scary. <laughs> Emerson. <laughs> I'm a real bad dream, mister. You should be afraid of me. Don't want to run into me in the night, that's for sure. Please, Emerson. Mr. Wake is confused enough as it is. Yeah, you'd like me to go away so you won't be scared. But you can't just decide what kind of dream you have or when you have it. Emerson. Okay, okay. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Boo. That's Emerson. We're actually making some progress with him, I'm happy to say. He works on video Elbow games. Strike. Ooh, it's yeah. trash, <laughs> of course, but yeah. it does involve I'll some small the head. creative effort, which makes him receptive to my therapeutic methods. No kidding. Come, Alan, this way. Now, you might have noticed the typewriter in your room. You've been writing as a part of the therapy. As soon as you feel up to it, you should continue. killing me there's a storm coming oh what a storm i hope it wipes this place off the face of the earth and these two are the anderson brothers odin and tor they had a how should i put this a heavy metal band in the 70s and 80s called old gods of asgard <laughs> They even adopted new first names to complete the image of Viking gods. After the band broke up, they lived on a farm nearby. They are, well, in advanced stages of dementia. They're well cared for, TLC and all that. There's nothing more that can be done. I'm afraid that the rock and roll lifestyle has left its mark. No, oh, that won't do. I'm so sorry to cut this short. For now, Alan, the power has been acting up. I'd better go check on it. We'll continue this soon. Meanwhile, when you feel up to it, return to your room and try to write. It really is for the best. Don't you think? I'd like to bash his head in with a hammer. Oh, he'd love to fish out our secrets, but he has no clue. 
He's not crazy enough. <laughs> not crazy like us, Sonny. Yeah! Being crazy is a requirement, Sonny. Who else could understand the world when it's like this? It takes crazy to know crazy. That's the sanest thing I've heard in a while. <laughs> Say, you're all right, Tom. Hey, we like him, don't we, bro? He's got to go to the farm. The Anderson Farm. Valhalla! <laughs> we wrote it all down, lest we to forget. A crash course. All you need to know to get your head right. You need to find the message. Here, Sonny, here's something for you. Gave me a rash, but I kept it safe from these bastards. My head was clearing up, or according to Hartman, I was sinking back into the fantasy. I was convinced he was lying to me about everything. Crazy or not, the Andersons made more sense. Tom, got any booze on you? Tom just lost is all. Baba Yaga got to him too, the damn witch. Thing he's not overreacting or anything. Well, he's the boss. I may need a hand here later on, Birch. The storm's bound to make you know who jumpy. You know how they get. Gotcha. Doc's got me looking after Wake here, but holler if it gets you down. Hey, Wake, why don't you humor Dr. Hartman and give the writing a shot, huh? Typewriter's in your room. Something's wrong. I'm not myself. You can get to your room by those think. stairs, Wake. There's a shadow inside my head. I can only focus on writing. Everything else is a blur. I'm trapped in this. The white glare of the blank page in front of me hurt my eyes. My hands began to shake uncontrollably. Hey, Wake, you stay here. I'm gonna go see what's up. You just keep doing what you're doing. Be cool, okay? I didn't know what the chaos was all about, but it could be my only chance of getting out of here. Where the hell did he get a damn hammer? I don't know. Here's a friendly poke from the old witch. Oh, afraid of the crazy brothers, are ya? Not so weak now, are we? Well, things are unraveling fast, aren't they? <gülüyor> Peki, aşağıya inelim. Bakalım gürültünün olduğu yerde neler var. Sinclair looked bad. That wasn't a love tap. The crazy old fart hit her the hard. If she was one of Hartman's goons, she had it coming. I could get the key to the office wing from Sinclair. I had to get to Hartman's office. He had taken all my manuscript pages. That's where he'd be keeping them. It's time to pay the piper! Maybe you could come out and beat our rich adult diaper asses, Birch, since you're so tough. The photo on the wall caught my attention. In it, the clinic staff was standing outside the lodge. I knew the man next to Hartman. He was the kidnapper. Hartman had been playing me all along. I represent a celebrity. Barry? Ow! About time! Barry! Man, am I glad to see you. We need to get to Hartman's office. It's right next door. You okay? Yeah. I mean, no! The cops found me a Rose's trailer, but they didn't have... These were all the pages I had on me. And more. Alan, please. You're sliding back Shh, into the... Tell me one more lie and I'll shoot you in the face. Ah, well, it was worth a shot. Really, Wake, come on. Let's work together on this. You have no idea. Hartman, what... shut up! Barry, get out of here. I'll catch up with you. Get a car. 
Oh, Al, let's just- Go! Wake, listen to me. This is a mistake. Don't you see? Together we can create something absolutely wonderful with your ability and mine. Tamam, ee, burada kaydı sonlandıralım arkadaşlar. Bir sonraki bölüm kaldığımız yerden devam ederiz. İzlediğiniz için teşekkür ederim. Önümüzdeki bölüm görüşmek üzere. Kendinize iyi bakın. Hoşçakalın.